Wi-Fi 5 and Wi-Fi 6 are both standards of wireless internet connectivity and both serve the same purpose, but there are several key differences between them. In this video, we're going to have a look at what the most important differences between them are. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps this small channel grow. Let's start with their names. Both have other names they're commonly known by that we can see here. These names are based on the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers naming convention which named the first generation of Wi-Fi as the 802.11 protocol and added additional letters for each additional generation of Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi 5 was released in 2014 and Wi-Fi 6 in 2019. Now let's look at speed. Wi-Fi 5 has a theoretical limit of 3.5 gigabits per second. It's worth noting you're very unlikely to get anywhere close to that unless you have an extremely fast speed coming into your router from your service provider and are in optimal conditions with no interference at all and nothing such as walls or furniture between your device and router. Wi-Fi 6 has a theoretical limit of 9.6 gigabits per second, but again you're very unlikely to get this incredible speed when connecting to a Wi-Fi 6 router for the same reason we previously mentioned. Wi-Fi 5 uses the 5 GHz frequency band only, whereas Wi-Fi 6 can use both the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz band. The 2.4 GHz band has a lot of other household devices using it, and therefore experiences a lot of interference causing slower speeds, so being able to use this band may not sound like an advantage. However, signals in the 2.4 GHz band tend to have a higher range and are better at penetrating walls than 5 GHz signals. This means you can stay connected to the Wi-Fi from further away with Wi-Fi 6. Wi-Fi 6 is more efficient in handling multiple devices and high density environments compared to Wi-Fi 5. This makes it far superior in environments like busy offices and airports where you may have over 100 devices connected at once. Another and perhaps unexpected feature Wi-Fi 6 devices have over Wi-Fi 5 is that they may see improved battery life. This is due to a feature of Wi-Fi 6 known as target wake time. Smart home sensors will benefit the most from this as they can schedule their wake times more efficiently. Instead of staying awake for extended periods waiting for communication opportunities, they can synchronize their wake times with the access point or router. This is not possible on Wi-Fi 5. Both Wi-Fi 5 and 6 are backwards compatible with older devices. If you want to check which generation of Wi-Fi your device or router supports, Go to the manufacturer's website and look at the tech specs. This will list which standard it uses. Remember, it may be referred to by its 802.11 version, rather than saying whether it's 5th or 6th generation. I've left a link to my recommended Wi-Fi 6 router in the description if you're looking to make the upgrade yourself. Which standard of Wi-Fi do you use at home? Let me know down in the comments and please do subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching.